Newton's third law states that when two objects interact, they experience the same force. So when these two carts collide, they both experience the same force. Even if it looks like maybe this one experienced more, that's not really true. They experience the same amount of force during the interaction between the two carts. The same magnitude or the same amount of force, but in opposite directions. When we're doing free body diagram analysis of a two object system, we can use that fact to identify some equivalent forces. And in this video, I'm gonna show you an example of that. So let's jump to the whiteboard and get started. The problem says a 30 kilonewton truck pulls a 10 kilonewton trailer at a constant speed. The truck experiences 700 newtons of drag. The trailer experiences 450 newtons of drag. Neglect any friction. That's gonna simplify the problem. There is some friction impeding the motion, but we're gonna simplify it by neglecting that. What is the tension in the rope and the applied force produced by the truck? So like any problem, we're gonna start by going through and identifying the forces and drawing a free body diagram. So let's start with the truck here. Of course, we have gravitational force pulling down on the truck. We've got a normal force from the road that's holding the truck up. It says there's an applied force because the truck's engine is on, they're hitting the gas or the accelerator. And so we have an applied force to the right. And then there's a couple forces that are impeding the motion of the truck. And one of those is gonna be the drag force that the truck experiences. So as it's moving through the air particles, those particles are resisting its motion. That's gonna be leftward because the truck's moving rightward. We've got the tension force as well. So that rope is pulling backward or leftward on the truck. And so those are our forces, four forces acting on the truck. Now we've got a trailer here and we're gonna draw a free body diagram for the trailer as well. We're gonna need both free body diagrams to solve for the applied force and the force of the tension that we're trying to find in this problem. So the trailer, of course, it's got a gravitational force downward. The trailer has less weight. It's only 10 kilonewtons. So I drew this force a little bit shorter, but I didn't draw it completely to scale here. All right, we also have a normal force that's holding the trailer upward. That's gonna be the road pushing upward on the trailer. We've got the tension force. In this case for the trailer, the tension force is to the right. And then finally, we've got the drag force, which since the trailer is moving to the right, the drag force is to the left. So those are the forces acting on our two free body diagrams here, one for the truck and one for the trailer. If I take a look at what I'm trying to find in the problem, it says, what's the tension in the rope? That's gonna be a horizontal force. And what's the applied force? That's also a horizontal force. So for this problem, I'm gonna sort of ignore the vertical forces because I'm only interested in this case in finding some horizontal forces. So I could ignore the vertical. It tells me that there's 700 newtons of drag on the truck, so I'm gonna label that right here. And it says there's 450 newtons of drag on the trailer, so I'll label that right there. Now for this problem, I'm gonna do a little bit of color coding so that you can see some of the reasoning that I use throughout the problem. I'm gonna do this, any force magnitudes, or the amount of force, I'm gonna label that in green. Anytime I use Newton's first law, I'm gonna label that in blue. And anytime I use Newton's third law, I'm gonna label that in purple. Remember, Newton's first law says that if the velocity is constant, the forces are balanced. And if velocity is changing, the forces are unbalanced. And remember, Newton's third law says that when two objects interact, they both feel the same force, just in opposite directions. So we're gonna use both of those in this problem. All right, let's start with Newton's first law in this problem. I know that the forces are balanced because it says the truck and the trailer are moving at a constant speed. If the velocity or speed is constant, the forces must be balanced. So for the trailer, that means that the drag force leftward has to be balanced or equal to the tension force to the right because those are the only two horizontal forces. So I can mark that on my diagram. I'll show with those single tick marks like that to show that those forces are equivalent in magnitude. In other words, since this one is 450 Newtons, that one's gonna to have to be 450 Newtons as well. Also, I can say this, that the tension and the drag force leftward on the truck have to be balanced with the applied force forward on the truck. So if I added up the three of those, they would have to add up to be the net force, which in this case, because the velocity is constant, that net force has to be zero. Another way to think about that is that the applied force forward, the magnitude of that, equals the magnitude of the drag and the tension added together. So I can represent that in equation form like this, adding them all up and equal to zero. Or I can just say, okay, this applied force equals this number plus whatever number this is right here. So at this point, I can go ahead and identify that the tension force here is 450 Newtons because these forces are balanced. I know they're equivalent. And I draw that in a blue arrow there because I'm using Newton's first law for that reasoning. Velocity constant forces are balanced, I know this has to be 450. The next thing, I don't know what this tension force is here, and I don't know what that applied force is right here. I have two unknowns on this free body diagram horizontally. 
So I can't figure out what that applied force is or that tension force is using Newton's first law here. Let's see if I can apply Newton's third law. Newton's third law says that in an interaction between two objects, they both experience the same force. To find what that force is, it's helpful to look for a couple things. I know that that force has to be the same type of force. So when I use Newton's third law, it's never gonna be tension and gravity being equal according to Newton's third law because those are separate, completely different forces. So it could be a tension and a tension. It could be a normal force and a normal force. It could be a gravitational and a gravitational, but it has to be an interaction between two objects. So I can look on here and see, well, how is this truck and this trailer, how are they interacting or how are they connected? Are they physically touching each other? Well, no, not in this case. If they were, it would be a normal force I'm looking for. Are they connected by a rope? Um, well, yeah, they are connected by a rope or a cord or a cable or something here. And so I know to look for, well, it's gonna be a tension force that's the Newton's third law force pair. But in this case, like I said, it's a cable that's connecting them. So I'm looking for tension. I'm also looking for forces that are opposite in direction. So like a good clue here that the gravitationals aren't equal is because, well, this gravitational is down and that gravitational is down. Well, those aren't opposite in direction. So I can rule out that being a Newton's third law force pair. So it may be obvious now that it's this tension and this tension because they're opposite in direction. They're both the same type of force. They're both tension. And these two objects are connected by a cable, which implies a tension force between the two. And so I know this tension right here is the same as this tension right there. I can also think about it like this. This is the tension that the truck applies to the trailer. And this is the tension that the trailer is applying to the truck. Notice how those two objects are switched Therefore, this has to be an equivalent tension force there and there. It's really the same force that they're feeling, just they're exerting it on each other. And so I can say that this second tension right there is also 450 Newtons based on it being a Newton's third law force pair. All right, at this point, I can go back to Newton's first law over here with this equation that I wrote. These forces have to add up to be the net force of zero. And so in this case, I've got 450, really negative 450 because it's to the left. I have negative 700 Newtons because that's also to the left, plus my applied force equals zero. Negative uh, 450 plus negative 700 would be a negative 1150. Add that to both sides and I get an applied force of 1,150 Newtons. I could also just see that, okay, 700 to the left, 450 to the right, those add up. What do I get? 1150 and that's my applied force. And my answer here, the two things I'm trying to find were the tension and the rope. So I'll say that's 450 Newtons. We already said that. And then the applied force is 1150. And so I'll put a box around that as my final answer. So in this problem, we use Newton's first law. That's all in blue right there, saying that, like this force and this force are equivalent because the velocity is constant. Or in this case, adding up the three forces to equal a net force of zero because the velocity is constant. That's using Newton's first law. And then we use Newton's third law. We identified a force pair. This tension and this tension are really the same force because it's these two objects interacting with each other. And so that tension is on both free body diagrams. That tension is equivalent in both just opposite directions. So good luck going out and solving more free body diagram analysis problems that have multiple objects and you're using Newton's third law to identify a force pair to help you solve the problem. It's like being a kid again and playing with toys. I just do this all day. Mm -hmm.